Hello once again. Thank you for joining us today for the webinar Start Translation Projects Faster with Content Fleet. My name is Paulami and I'll be moderating this webinar. Uh, just to let you know, we'll be recording this session and we'll be sharing the link to all attendees and everyone who has registered after the webinar. We'll open the floor for a question and answer session at the end of the presentation. You can type in your questions in the question box. I have shared a handout with this webinar. Please feel free to have a look at it. This webinar will be hosted by Laura Casalantis at the... Sorry, Laura, did I say your name wrong? Laura Casanellas. Laura. <laughs> Sorry about that, Laura. She is our product, ma product manager at Canton MT. Laura has over 15 years of experience in localization industry. Pratt is the product manager, uh, project manager at Canton MT. He brings to the team more than eight years of experience in localization and client support and is presently our go-to guy for Canton Fleet related questions. Now, without further delay, I'll pass on the microphone to Laura, who will introduce you to the latest developments in automotive translation workflow and provide you with a solution to finish your translation jobs quickly and efficiently. The floor is all yours, Laura. Hi there. Just give me one second. I'm going to yeah, make sure that I can see the screen. How are you all? As Palumi said, my name is Laura Casanellas and I've been working in localization for the last 15 years. That means that I'm very old. <laughs> I'm working as product manager in, in Cantan MT at the moment. So today we are going to talk about Cantan Fleet. And Cantan Fleet is a set of pre-built domain-specific custom machine translation engines. And we have developed them in in, in Cantan to allow our, our customers to translate straight away if they need it. Pat is the person who has actually developed them and he will be giving you some information about the how and, and what later on in this presentation. So what are the benefits um, of Cantan Fleet and who benefits from that? First of all, uh, who benefits? So clients, sometimes uh, clients or users of translation or machine translation don't have enough training data. They might have some limited training data, but not enough to create a system themselves. By training data, what, I talk, what I'm talking about, and I'm sure uh, people who are listening will be quite familiar with that, is in-domain in parallel data, so bilingual files. TMXs most of the time, not only TMXs, but TMXs most of the time. So um, sometimes people might have some, uh, some uh, parallel data that have uh, been translated in, a, in the traditional fashion, let's say, but it's not enough to create a system. Sometimes people don't have any training data, any parallel data at all. So, and they, you know, they want to start translating straight away for whatever requirement. In that case, Cantan Fleet, it's a, it's a good way of doing that. And uh, as I mentioned before, you know, whoever needs to start translating straight away and want to benefit from machine translation output with quality. So the benefit is immediate translation in domain, okay? We are going to go, this is the Cantan Fleet overview. Um, I'm going to move from here to our own platform, sorry for a second, to show, to show you uh, live if you like. So this is our, pla our platform and this is the main dashboard. Uh, anybody who is a user of Cantan MT uh, would get this, this uh, view if you like or this interface um, when they get into the platform, when they log in. Here you have the, the opportunity to create a system from scratch, um, but if you don't want to do that, you can hit Cantan Fleet, okay? What we have in front of us is the Cantan Fleet uh, Create Wizard, and here before we go into creating a system, 
I want to show you the list of, uh, of engines that we have. You can, you can access them by clicking here. I have it open just in case. I don't want any accidents. So <laughs> here is our Kanban fleet page. And as you can see, along here we can see the domains of uh, you know uh, that we have for Kanban fleet. I'm going to open one of them, legal. And as you can see, I display all the available Kanban fleet engines for legal. So if I focus on one of them, for instance, this one here, Italian German, you you can see that there are a number of uh, there's a number of data here. So they are the the automatic scores of this particular engine. And Pat will talk more about this. But basically, just to to tell you uh, a little bit is our I suppose guarantee to our customers that the quality of each of our engine is good enough to start translation translation with. So I'm gonna go back to my wizard. And here, if I want to create a system, the only thing I have to do is to click on domain, select my domain. I'm going to select medical in this case. Click next. I select my language pairs. And uh, this scroll down menu will give me the, all the options I have for the medical domain. OK? And here they are. If I go in this Spanish, because I'm Spanish myself, and I click Next, <laughs> it tells me that I already have a, a fleet engine for that particular language pair. So I'm going to go English-Italian. OK? And here, in the last view of this wizard, I get a little bit more information about this particular system. So it tells me what it is. It's a, it's a medical fleet engine, English into Italian. It gives me the blue score. And it also gives me the total work count of the engine, which in this case is very large. All our fleet engines are pretty large. This one has 81 million words. And it gives me the unique work count, which is very important in machine translation. And it's like the dictionary, if you like, of the, of the system. And in this case, it's very close to a million words. So it's, it's pretty good for coverage. So if I click Create, the engine starts, uh, the, the engine starts copying into my profile. And in the next few minutes, I'll have it ready to start. Um, with that, I'm going to go back to my presentation. And um, basically, uh, I just have a, a slide here to, you know, to give you a little bit more information and for you to have it in the handout of our verticals and uh, of our supported language, uh, which is over 20, uh, over 40 language pairs, and around 80 pre-built pre -built engines already. Pat is, uh, is creating more as we speak, so, uh, you know, if, uh, if, if you go to our page and you don't see what you need, you can always request it from us, or you can visit it later on to see if, it, if we have it. And with that, I'm going to pass the floor to Pat. Thanks very much. Thanks, Laura. Hi, everyone, and welcome. My name is Pat Nagel. I'm a project manager here at Canton MT, and I'm responsible for the construction and maintenance of Canton Fleet. So we start off with um, the engine creation. So if you've used the Canton MT platform, you understand that we do have stock data. So each engine is built with our own stock data that has been thoroughly cleansed. Um, and all of the data that we're using is in domain. So if we say that we have a legal engine, it's legal data that it's, it contains. Um, to create the engine, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you've used the Canton platform, you understand how to create the engine. You open up your profile, you click New, as Laura showed you earlier, and you can name your engine to whatever specification you want, and then you click Create. So once you have your engine created, then it's, it's as simple as dragging and dropping your data. Um, for the quality threshold, then, um, 
we use three scores. We have an F measure, we have blue, and we have tear. And for the F measure, we try to keep the quality threshold between 75 and 70. And with that score, it usually gives us um, a larger vocabulary, which makes the engine um, more translatable. Um, for blue score, um, our threshold there is 60, um, and that's language quality. Um, and then for tier, um, we keep it as low as possible. So we're, we're talking between 40 and 30, and that's for um, post-editing creation. So um, the lower the score, the less post-editing you need to do. Um, and then for the customization of the engines, again, um, it is simple and straightforward. Once you've copied your fleet engine, whichever you've chosen from any of the five domains that we have, and you've copied it onto your profile, all you need to do is drag and drop whatever training data or client data that you have into the engine, and then you hit build. And then we'll just move on to the next slide. Thank you, Laura. And um, for this, it's file formats. Um, for the creation of the engine, we're mainly dealing with TMX file formats, um, which is translation memories. And all of those are, we'll just move on to the file formats page, it'd be easier for everyone to, to see what kind of file formats that we support here at Tanstam Team. So for the creation of the Canton MT engines, we mainly deal with training data. So that's bilingual data, and as you can see, the first one is TMXs. So everything that we have in Canton MT, the, the Canton fleet engines, are all TMXs. Um, and they're all in domain, um, and they've all been thoroughly cleansed. Okay. So we just go back to the presentation there. So we'll talk about data cleansing. Um, there's an awful lot of information that I could share with you about the data cleansing, so I'm just going to keep it as, as simple as possible. Um, now, for the, the TMXs that we use for the engines, there are four different te techniques that I'm going to explain. So it's all to do with segmentation um, and identifying segments that can be removed or create, correct, corrected within the TMX to increase, increase data quality. So if you have in your TMXs identical segments, which would be where the source and target would be the same. They can be removed, or you can correct them. It's up to you. And um, blank segments will always be removed. Either the source target, source, source segment, or the target segment is blank. It should be removed completely. And um, duplicates. The duplicate segments would create an awful lot of noise within your data. So reducing the amount of duplicates would definitely increase the data quality of your TMXs. Um, and then we can move on to transparency. Um, all of our data is, is sourced, is open sourced and license free. Um, the majority of it has been sourced from Opus, which you can download free from the Opus webpage. Um, and then going into domain specifics, um, for legal, it's all, well, not all, but majority of it is coming from the European Union, um, European Commission, and DGT. Um, which is available from the UN website. Um, for technical, for technical, it, again, it's coming from Opus, which is license free again. Um, and I've also sourced data myself from um, reputable IT companies such as Intel, Dell, Adobe, Autodesk, to name but a few. Um, and then we can. Move on to the next slide. And so back over to Laura. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. So basically, um, even though this feature is quite new, we we have clients who are already using it and finding it beneficial. Um, this is one example of of somebody who is using it. Yep. And uh, I think that's really it, isn't it? Thank you, Laura. Thanks so much, Pat. We'll have a look at the questions that are coming in already. Um, give us a moment, please. Thank you. OK. Uh, I suppose one of the first questions that we got here, and we can very quickly answer this, uh, Laura. It's a very important question. <laughs> Do we have to pay extra for the engines? 
No, um, this is basically available for all our uh, users. So the only thing um, the only thing you uh, you need to do is basically just to subscribe with us uh, for a month or for any month and uh, any amount of months and you'll be able to to have your Canton fleet engine yeah so uh, do you want me to answer this question the 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 one about uh, yeah. do you have um do you have english to brazilian portuguese for all the or portuguese for portugal only so as far as i know at the moment we only have Portuguese for port from Portugal at the moment, is that correct? But That's correct, yeah. We only have English to Portuguese for most domains. Um, at the moment I am working on Brazilian Portuguese, so you might see it um, on the <laughs> list in the near future. Fingers crossed. And uh, I mean, you could also, I suppose, you could, you could also try to see how the Brazilian Portuguese and the Portuguese engine worked uh, for you. There is a way of um, uh, introducing many changes in our training data directly from our uh, platform by using um, our preprocessor that might, might help you change in spellings, general spellings and things like that. So this could be an option if you were in a hurry. Right, so the next question is, um, I think Pat, you have already addressed this a bit, um, it, it is, can I use Canton Fleet with my own data? Do you want to talk any more about that, Pat? Um, of course, absolutely you can, and um, that's the whole premise of the Canton Fleet um, design for all the engines. It's customizable, you can use your own data. So basically, I suppose what you do is, um, and the recommendation we would have in that regard would be that um, you would uh, you would start with Canton Fleet, and if the use of the empty outputs that were uh, this Canton Fleet engine was going to produce was post editing uh, to to great quality, what you could do is you could use this parallel uh, data afterwards to retrain your Canton Fleet with this particular uh, data and that would make it more in domain for you for your needs you could also add uh, glossaries uh, if you had them so it is highly customizable yes great uh, there are a few questions coming in Laura and Pat but I'm afraid that's all the time we have today thank you once again both of you for joining this webinar and hosting this webinar and for our attendees, if you have any more questions, please uh, mail us at info at cantonmt.com or if you would like a one-to-one -one demo, please email at, as, at demo at cantonmt.com and we'd be happy to talk to you further. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye.